it's the kind of thing you don't want to hear about the next night or the next morning and say, oh, I could have seen that and didn't. Scientists say we could be in for one of the most spectacular astronomical viewing events in decades. Thousands of shooting stars may be visible Monday night if conditions are right as the Earth passes through the remains of a disintegrated comet. This comet doesn't usually make meteor showers. It's too far away. But in 1995, it kind of blew up. And so now instead of being a comet with a tail, it's kind of this expanding cloud of debris. Scott Young, planetarium astronomer with the Manitoba Museum, says this will be an all or nothing event. If the math is right, almost all of Canada will have a chance to see thousands of meteors per hour streaking through the sky. We're lucky to be alive at the right part of a four billion year cycle to witness this, says Young. Anywhere from, from uh, Manitoba, Saskatchewan, east to, uh, to uh, the Atlantic Ocean, basically, and all through the states, has a chance to see this in a, in a reasonably dark sky. Young says it's worth driving 100 to 150 kilometers from where you live to find an area with less light pollution if you want to see the stars. In Manitoba, the forecast is for clouds. However, Young plans on using a radio to help him track the number of meteors flying overhead. And so can you by tuning into a radio station a few thousand kilometers away. All you'll get is static. But when a meteor goes over, the radio waves from that station will bounce off the meteor and back down to you, and you'll hear the radio station for a second or two. And that was a meteor. Beyond the chance to see a stellar display in the cosmos, Young says this event is also helping scientists calibrate mathematical models to forecast other meteorological events that Earth will want to know are coming. Understanding comets and uh, meteors and all those other things that could crash into the Earth has an obvious implication when you start talking about the bigger things. Like there was, a, there was an impact 66 million years ago that wiped out the dinosaurs and 75% of life on Earth. So we want to understand those kinds of collisions. Young will be live streaming the event by camera if it's clear enough or using radio detection if it's overcast. The Earth is predicted to enter the edge of the debris cloud Monday night with the shower starting just before midnight central time and lasting until early Tuesday morning. You've got sort of a two hour window where all the action happens. In Winnipeg, Mark Newfeld, City News.